Hello friends, welcome. I'm a friend, your host Roy. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Power. Friends, we are talking about series one where we're discussing real numbers. This is webisode number 21. Today we are going to talk about rational numbers and non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So friends, in the last two webisodes, that is webisode number 19 and 20, we have been discussing about rational numbers but terminating decimal expansion, right? So webisode number it was uh, not the last the one before that 19 we talked about if we looked at this theorem that stated if x is a rational number with terminating decimal expansion if it is given that is if somebody has given you a number like this i'm just writing a one big you know decimal number randomly if it is given like this then we know that x can be expressed in the form of p by q where both p q are co prime co prime means no common factors that means we can express this in the form of p by q where both p q have no common factor except one and q which is the denominator can be expressed in the form of 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n where m and n are non-negative integers that is that is m and n can have values 0 1 2 so on so forth till infinity so if we have a terminating decimal expansion we know that we absolutely can write it in the form p by q where the denominator can be expressed in this particular form we saw this theorem in webisode number 19 similarly in the last webisode webisode 20 we looked at if x is given as a rational number p by q in the form of a fraction and it is also given that the prime factorization of the denominator q is of the form 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n where m and n are non-negative integers then we saw that x will always have terminating decimal expansion so in other words if you are given any number let's say 2 5 7 times 2 to the power 4 if this is your fraction this will have terminating decimal expansion why because you can multiply this as 5 to the power 4 times 5 to the power 4 you can multiply both numerator and denominator like this and you will get a value here when you actually do this multiplication and denominator will be 10 to the power 4 right and then whatever this number is it will be a pretty large number you will have 257 multiply by 6 to 5 because 5 to the power 4 is 25 times 25 which is 6 to 5 and denominator you will have four zeros right like which is 10,000 so when you do the multiplication you will realize that you have a terminating decimal expansion so these two present these two uh, theorems we have seen in the last two videos so today we are going to take a look at what if if our denominator is not of the form 2 times m multiplied by 5 times n what if and i think let us try to pick some number here what if if we have 11 divided by 6 why did i pick 6 here because 11 and denominator is 2 times 3 so in the denominator i intentionally picked 2 and a and a prime number 3 not 5 so if you actually do this division you will notice that let's do this division and see what happens I've got 11 and I've got 6 6 ones are 6 right so 5 point 0 6 eights are 48 minus 48 uh, 50 minus 48 2 0 6 threes are 20 sorry 6 threes are 18 20 minus 18 is 2 
again 0. So we are noticing that you will basically get 33333. So it's kind of interesting, right? We randomly picked a, a, des, a, a denominator which is not not of the form it is not of the form 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n and what did we get we got a, a non terminating but repeating decimal expansion so this is nothing but this will be 1.8 3, 3, 3. So this is not going to terminate, but this is going to keep repeating like this. Right? Let's take one more example. Now, this time, let's see, uh, maybe we will take something like, uh, let's say, uh, how about we do 42 divided by, um, how about we do 42 divided by, maybe, um, kind of thinking like uh, 5 and uh, let's say <clears throat> 5 and 7 right so I am taking a factor uh, other than 2 here for the denominator so what happens is so this will be nothing but essentially my my rational number is 42 divided by 35 so what happens do I get a terminating decimal expansion, non-terminating decimal expansion or repeating, non-repeating. Let's find out. So let's do this actual division. So I've got 42 divided by 35. So 1's are 35. So 42 minus 35 is 7 point 0. 35 2's are 70. Oh, this is interesting. So I actually have got a terminating decimal expansion. So what went wrong here? If you look closely here, what we have is 42 is nothing but 7 times 6. And we have 5 times 7. So remember that the, the rational number P by Q have to be co-prime. They cannot have any common factor. So, this basically became 6 by 5. Of course, 6 by 5 will actually have terminating decimal expansion. Why? Because it is of the form 2 to the power m times 5. All right. I think let's, let's take probably one more example. I think let's try to keep it a little bit more simple. Uh, let's do maybe, let's do 1, 2, 1 by um, let's say 14 right because this is an odd number this is an odd number and this is an even number so essentially this has like 2 times 7 is 1 to 1 can it be divide that by 7 no I don't think so so let us let us say this is our p by q and q is of the form 2 times 7 right because 14 is nothing but 2 times 7 Remember, we are trying to figure out what will happen if the Q is not of the form 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n. So let's do this division. So I've got 1 to 1 divided by 14. So, well, uh, I have to take the whole thing together, right? So let's see. So 14, 8, uh, how about 14, 8, uh, 14, 8, uh, uh, that will be 112. So, 14, 8, uh, 2, 112. All right. So, then we will have 9.0. Now, 14, 6, uh, 14, 6, uh, 14, 6, uh, 84. Okay, got 6, 0. Now 14, I think 14, 5 is a 70. 14, 4 is a 56. 4, 0. 
14 14 threes are 42 so 14 twos are 28 14 twos are 28 so I'll have 12 right so let us do it here I will have 12 and 0 so 120 right so 14 nines are 14 nines are 126 so I have to do 14 eights are let's say so 14 eights are is 112 112 then now this will be 8 0 now 14 okay let's see so 14 fives are 14 fives are 70 so we will have 10 0 uh, well it looks like this is going on and on right so let's see how far we can actually you know go go with this now 14 um, how do we divide uh, 100 by 14 so 14 14 6 uh, 84 14 14 6 uh, 14 7 uh, 14 7 uh, that will be 98 98 2 0 20 14 ones are 14 6 6 0 14 um, 14 fours are 56 4 0 oh look it is starting to repeat from here 6 the moment you put 4 here that means it is going to repeat from here and you can do it by yourself so 4 and then it will again have 2 8 5 7 1 so this entire string of digits will repeat from here again so we are again noticing that we have taken a denominator Q which is of the form which is not of the form 2 to the power M times 5 to the power N we took some random examples where the denominator intentionally we made sure it is not of this form and the strange thing is we are noticing non terminating but repeating decimal numbers so friends this is indeed the third and final theorem about rational numbers where if x is p by q which is a rational number given and it is also given that the prime factorization of q is not not of the form this then x will always have non terminating repeating decimal expansion 